nice pumpkin coffee and it is hitting. Hello everyone, welcome back to my video a year later. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. I'm going to be answering all the questions that I asked myself a year ago, then I'll ask a few questions for my future self a year from now. I believe it was September 14th, 2021, I asked myself future questions and here I am on September 26th, 2022 answering those questions. I have a lot to update you guys on from where I was a year ago, even just recently. I feel like so much has been changing, so I'm very excited for this video. You may have noticed my super cute jewelry that I'm wearing, and I'm so excited to tell you about it because it's the sponsor of this video. So thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. They're a high quality, sustainable jewelry brand, and I've just been loving them recently. I'm wearing two of their high quality, elegant necklaces and two pairs of their earrings. I am just obsessed with them. I've been obsessed with jewelry for as long as I can remember. I love Ana Luisa because her jewelry is so elegant. It can take like a casual outfit and just elevate it to be a little bit more classy and put together. And I love whenever my necklaces and my earrings kind of go together. It really just ties the look in. Not only is Ana Luisa amazing because they're carbon neutral, everything from their packaging to their products, they are very sustainable, but they also start at an affordable $39 and go up from there. And these pieces are high quality. So you're getting sustainable, high quality, elegant look. I mean, you just need some Ana Luisa in your life. I kid you not when I say I will be wearing these nonstop for the next, who even knows how long, probably till I film the next video next year. They're just like the perfect pieces to go with everything and anything. This is Ana Luisa's website. I got the sparkle earrings, the Hannah Lee earrings, and then this stack necklace down here, the heritage necklace, if you guys wanna get the pieces I got. But look how gorgeous everything is. Look how gorgeous their website is and all their just beautiful, elegant pieces. I think you guys can definitely find something that you'll like and they have great reviews you guys can actually get 10 percent off with my code sydneyfrancis10 and click the link in the description so whether you want to buy yourself a new piece whether it's an everyday piece or something to elevate an outfit or you're looking for the perfect gift for someone else Ana Luisa can definitely hook you up and provide you what you're looking for I mean just look at these pieces are we not obsessed so once again you guys can just go ahead and click the link in the description and use my code sydneyfrancis10 for 10% off your order thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and let's continue the biggest thing that I have to note from watching this video a year later is that I went to Starbucks got coffee and talked about how I was coming to like coffee recently I've only been liking cold brew now I am a coffee fiend I just love coffee I do mostly make it at home because this is another great thing that has happened in the past like couple months is I don't really eat out anymore or even go buy coffee places I will every once in a while I'm not a crazy person but I used to eat out and get coffee like every day and now I do it at home by myself and I'm coming to be a good cook Okay, so right now, just to tell my future self, um, I am very consistent on YouTube. Um, I've been streaming a little bit on my main channel, a little bit on my second channel, and I'm about to hopefully start posting on my second channel soon. I like to post on TikTok a lot. I kind of hate Instagram. Um, as far as YouTube, I actually am not as consistent as I used to be. I'm so sorry to let you down last year, Sydney. I got a job, which is such a big transition. Um, I actually just got promoted last week too so that's really awesome i love my job and i'm always recording for all of their social medias and running all that so i don't always have time to be recording and editing as much as i used to so i still try to post at least once a week but i used to post three times a week which would be fine if it was my full-time job still but i love my job so i just post when i can um i'm not streaming anymore and as far as second channel i actually did start posting on my second channel but it is a channel talking about uh christianity and the lds church the differences between the two my journey from one to the other um i do still post consistently on tiktok i think i was just getting back into it a year ago and now i try to post every day um and then i asked do i still hate instagram actually no I was very anti reels, but ever since I got my job, I've had to like learn about Facebook reels, Instagram reels, and just like really digging into like how to make it work. And I actually really like reels, but TikTok will always be the OG and I'll kind of always be over there, probably more than reels. Do I miss the old Instagram and wish that it was just pictures? Absolutely. I don't even remember the last time I had a photo shoot because what's the point? Literally no one sees it. I mean, they're fun, but it's also like kind of work to go do a photo shoot, especially I work 40 hours a week. Okay, so first off, how was your year? This has been the year for us, okay? We have grown 
more than we ever have in our entire life. It was the year of healing, of moving on, of like new era in life. It was my coming of age era, it really was. Um, I know the year's not over yet, but this was literally probably the best year of my life. Um, I have nothing really terrible to say about this year. Honestly, from January to now, it's been amazing. How is your mental health doing? I actually remember when I filmed that video, I was still pretty much struggling with anxiety and depression pretty bad. I was in my recovery phase at that point. I mean, the situation I was in in life, like I was just going through a lot as well. But right after that, I started therapy for a little bit. I got a lot closer to God. I got some great friends. Honestly, I am at a solid place with my mental health. I feel like it's weird to say like my depression's gone, but I literally don't remember the last time I even felt the symptoms of depression. So I guess this is hope that, you know, everyone has different scenarios. I'm not trying to say like you can just get rid of your depression or anything, but there is hope that things can get better. Did you ever end up staying consistent with fitness? Yes, Sydney, I did. For like five months, I was in the gym six days a week. I haven't been as regular with fitness since starting my job, I will admit, but I'm still pretty active. I go on walks a lot. I'm still working out a couple times a week. I'm actually fully focused on my eating because I mean, like losing weight and just health in general is like 80% what you eat and only like 20% working out. So yes, I do think working out is important, but what you eat is even more important. Did you ever end up dyeing all of your hair blonde? I did, but in the video I specifically said my whole head. It is a balayage, but I love it. I don't know if I'll ever go full blonde. That's not a balayage because I hate bleaching my scalp. Did you ever end up having a viral video on YouTube? I have not, but I also don't care as much anymore. I used to really want to get a viral video, but now I've realized there's so much more important things in life than a bunch of people seeing a video from me, whether it's getting subscribers from that, making money from that, just feeling good about myself from that. I don't really find value in views as much as I used to. Um, which I think has a lot to do with growing my relationship with God. So yeah, if I have a viral video, that'd be awesome. But I'm also not making like viral video type of content. I make pretty chill content, so. Did you pick up any random hobbies? I said in the video that I had been doing my nails. I still like to do that. <laughs> Once again, they're not done right now, but I do like doing that. I don't really have a crazy main hobby right now. I know, like I'm not in that weird mode where I'm obsessed with something for 30 days or whatever. Uh, I really like coffee. I've been really getting into like making coffee more, but I just, I work all the time and then I hang out. So if anything, my hobby is just like reading the Bible because that's what I do in my free time. Do you still live in Texas? Do you still live in Houston? Do you live in the same area of Houston? Do you still live in the same apartment? Just tell me all about your living situation. Did you end up buying more property? I do. Well, I actually used to live in the city of Houston technically, but now I live outside of Houston in like a little suburb. But yeah, I still live in the area. I wanted to buy a house this summer, but um, it just wasn't God's plan. I realized I had been praying about it. I've been trying and just nothing was working out. So I was like, all right, God, I'm giving it to you. Now I've kind of got a little bit of plans in the future that I'm definitely not ready to talk about. Uh, all I have to say is maybe I should stop saying I'm going to live here for the rest of my life because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't necessarily have a plan for where I will be next summer. We'll just say that. Um, you know, just talking to my boyfriend and like future plans and yeah, okay. We'll just, mm -hmm. it is a different apartment and I live with my boyfriend now. Do you still love Houston? Are you wanting to move? I do. I love Texas. I love where I live. And if I do end up moving, I will be really sad and it will be really, really hard. But I'm trusting God with all of that. All right. And then as far as your house in Missouri, what's the situation with that? And do your tenants pay on time? Because we are just about to get some new tenants. Yep. Everything's going good as far as I know. I get paid on time. So things are good. Does Charlie live with you? Did she end up living with you? She did live with me for about six months. Her fiance just got back from deployment. So she's living with him but we did live together for a while, it was fun. How is your relationship with God? It is the best ever. I mean, I know it'll just go up from here, but oh my gosh, since I recorded that last video in this video, I'm a different person. My relationship with God is like more than 10X. I don't really know how to explain. I'm getting to the point where I can kind of align my will with his and surrender more things to him and just enjoy who he is and worship God because he's worth worshiping and not because of what he does for me. And when I was recording this video, I was still kind of in a phase of like, I worship God because he saved me. And yeah, that's awesome. I still agree with that. But now I worship him because he is the great I am. You know, he doesn't have to do anything for me for me to worship him because he's that great. Does he do things for me all the time? Absolutely, yes. And he blesses me and I'm mind blown how much he has been blessing me recently. But yeah, our relationship with God is like, whoo, 
girl. It's good. All right, let's continue. Did you end up completing your 365 day reading where you like read the whole Bible? I actually get questions about this journal all the time. I don't even have it over here. It's in my reading area, but I just got it on Amazon. It's like a woman's map of reading through the Bible in a year. I actually haven't finished it and I probably won't until like February. And so that means I'm only like halfway, probably two thirds of the way through the Bible. And that's totally fine because there have been times that I've really wanted to slow down and try to understand chapters and dig deeper into it. There are days that I missed and reading your Bible isn't a timeline. It'd be great to have read it in a year because I've never actually read the whole thing all the way through, but I'm like two thirds of the way done. So things are going well with that. Oh, and there's also times like we read through Romans and now we're in Hebrews for like my Bible study with my church friends. So there's times I was reading that instead. So I didn't always follow the daily reading there, but that does help me know what to read. Did you find a church that you wanted to start attending every Sunday that you like? I did, and I absolutely love my home church. It's definitely like the biggest church I've ever gone to. I mean, I feel like there's pros and cons to going to a bigger church, but there's like always something going on, always activities, ways to plug in, which I really love. Um, the like worship band orchestra choir i don't know they have a little bit of everything is absolutely amazing i love the church we go to i say we as in me and my boyfriend but also i was saying me and my past self anyways i love the church i go to because it's very biblical based my pastor's in the bible all the time classes are always about the bible it is just the bible the songs that we sing are amazing and they're all about god we do a mix of like hymns and more like newer type of worship songs so i really love it because i feel like it like brings together a lot of different generations and different types of people because it's just like in the bible so i really really love it i feel so blessed to be there and god definitely led me to be there and i actually got baptized there this last easter did you make any new friends and how did you make these new friends because right now i'm like how would i possibly make any more friends i do have some friends and i met all of them from church i don't think i well i did like make a few friends here and there from things that weren't church but that's where most of my friends and i have the most in common with them and see them the most often anyway some of the other friends were just like through my boyfriend's work but then he doesn't work there anymore and so just like acquaintances but all the new f actual friends that I've made have been from church or meeting Christian people online <laughs> who is your number one best friend right now that would be my boyfriend I almost just said his name that would be awkward did you end up starting to date yeah I have a boyfriend we've been dating for five months officially I think I also have some fun stuff coming up with my boyfriend so everyone stay tuned about that <laughs> probably towards the end of October. Did your divorce ever end up getting finalized? It did, yes. And the next question is, did I leg legally change my last name? It's changed on all my documents, but I still need to go and get uh, my social security number changed. Whatever that is, I need to go do that. And that's like the official name change. I just don't want to go stand in line. So it's changed on everything else. <laughs> Back to my maiden name. And in the past year, how often have you gone home? How was going home for the first time? I know you were nervous about that. I remember being super nervous because there was some drama going on and I just didn't know how things were gonna go but it was really good I loved Christmas this last year when I went home for the first time it was only a few days because I think that's all I could really do but I mended some relationships I feel like and just really got through some emotions and it was really awesome I went back a couple weeks ago and it was the best time I've ever had visiting home like great time with my family I feel like I really bonded really well with a lot of people had some girls days with my cousins and Dallas and Ellie were in town as well and it was just really fun I got to hang out with all my siblings well not all of them because they don't all live in Missouri but and my dad and it was just a really really fun time and I'm going back for the Halloween party so I'm really excited for that 21st birthday it is coming up this is the last big birthday you have to look forward to where did you end up going how did you spend it who were you with and was it as fun as you thought wow I was really hype about it now I'm like oh yeah it was fun it was really fun it was awesome I didn't cry my birthday first time in a long time but I went to my mom's uh, my oldest brother wasn't able to make it so I went with my other brother and my stepsister with my stepdad and it was so much fun they're awesome they're actually the same age my brother and my stepsister and then I'm three years younger so it was really fun we did like a little bit of a bar crawl in downtown Savannah and then I went to a club for the first time with my brother just for a little bit and I don't think I will ever go back because it wasn't really that enjoyable like I had a good time on my birthday don't think I ever really want to do that again but yeah it, it was just a fun day a fun bonding day did you ever finally buy a new laptop I like went off on this in the video a year ago yes I got a new laptop I don't know where it is it's over there I got a new one and right after I got it, they released another one. So thank you, Mac or Apple. But.
I actually got a Mac, like a, a Mac Studio, like this thing, and it has a monitor. So I don't even really use my laptop unless I'm traveling because I needed this for work. So we got we got all the new stuff. We're just really balling out right now. So do you own anything new that you want to talk about? I mean, this background is absolutely amazing i'm obsessed with it and i'm so excited about my new mac that's been really fun oh i have a cat i guess that's a new purchase uh it's my boyfriend's cat but it's our cat his name's phoenix he's absolutely adorable and he was born on the day i got baptized and the same month that my boyfriend asked me to be his girlfriend uh obviously we didn't have him until a couple months later so i didn't even know that but yeah he was born around the same time as all that what is your current favorite song? I only listen to worship music or like Christian music, mostly worship music. And then sometimes like just some random like jazz or a little bit of country or something, but really worship music most of the time. So let me see. I've kind of been loving the song Same God by Elevation Worship. And then I also love the song Grave into Gardens by Elevation Worship and I Thank God by Maverick City. For a while, I was obsessed with Great I Am by New Life Worship. There's just so many good ones on my worship playlist. I should like put it in the description if i remember it'll be there watching this video make you feel weird does it give you nostalgia a little bit but honestly i'm so much happier and like so just like solid in my life right now and confident who i am and confident in my relationship with jesus and all of that that like i look at that video and i'm like poor little helpless sid like she just she was almost there because i would never want to go back to who i was a year ago especially in that time of my life i mean i was doing a lot better then than i was before then but i don't want to be her again i'm happy with who i am now what is your favorite thing to do in your free time right now my favorite thing to do in my free time is read my bible hang out with my boyfriend hang out with my friends make coffee i like chill nights because i'm like on screen time like all day for work and then for my youtube channel for everything and when i can finally not do that and just like i wish i could get into reading i keep trying but i can't so i'll read my bible or just i love making dinner like i pretty much always make dinner for me and my boyfriend not that he never offers sometimes he even helps actually most of the time he helps but i just love it like i genuinely am like yes i get to make dinner get out of the kitchen Sometimes I just get annoyed when people are in the kitchen when I cook. I'm like, this is my zone. This is my free time. I'm relaxing. I'm really just giving stay-at-home wife. <laughs> but I don't mind that. Um, yeah, but other than that, in my free time, I mean, sometimes I like to watch YouTube videos. I don't really have anything on Netflix I like right now, which I think is a question. My favorite Netflix show. Don't have one right now, really. Like, nothing good. Nothing good is coming out, and I finished all my favorite shows. So I got nothing for you just the youtubers i watch oh do you have any new piercings do you have any new tattoos show me them tell me all about them because i know how much you love them and are excited about them right now we just have the two tattoos i hope we don't have any more piercings because girl we're booked any new piercings or tattoos girl did we yes we did we got our the tattoo we'd been wanting for years we got it this has been on my like bucket list of tattoos my pinterest board since i realized oh I'm not Mormon anymore, I can get a tattoo. Uh, <laughs> no, since I realized I wanted tattoos, this has been on there and I'm obsessed. I thought I was gonna get it small. No, girl, we went all out and I love it. And then I got this, which I've wanted for so long too. Um, ever since becoming a Christian, this has been a huge thing for me. Let go, let God, about surrender. And then we also got a cross, but I wear these bracelets, so a lot of times it just looks like a line. It's actually not my favorite. I want to get stuff added to it, like some little vines going around it because it just, it's so simple compared to my others, which is fine, but I don't know. I feel like it could be better. Then, of course, we have the other two. So now we have five. And there was another question. Can you still see my UV tattoos? With those included, I have seven tattoos. And yes, you can still see them, which is crazy because I was told they would fade in like three months. It's been two years, almost two years. And you can still see them. Oh, new piercings. I actually have less piercings than I did in that video because some of them were like, like I had two helixes and they were super close together and just hurting, so I had to take them out. So I have, I have 10, 10 piercings. I think I had 11 in that video. And that's all the questions. That is it. I've progressed and changed so much in this last year. It's truly been an amazing year and I'm so happy to let old Sydney know that everything was okay. Everything turned out. We're healing. We're growing. We're moving on. We're so happy and Jesus is the best. <laughs> uh, okay, so honestly, I kind of want to just ask like the same questions for my future self. So I'm just going to run through them like really quick. So how's consistency on social media? Um, how is your year going? Did you stay consistent with the health plan that you are on right now and fitness? What color is your hair? What have you been doing to it? Did you happen to have a viral video? 
Any random hobbies? Do you still live in the Houston area? Did you end up buying a house? Are you and your boyfriend still living together? And I'm actually gonna throw this in. It might be a little crazy, but when God writes your story, <laughs> Are you engaged? I'm gonna drop it. I am gonna drop that. I don't know where I'll be in a year. I'm not saying anything. I'm just putting it there. You know what? I'm not even gonna throw a time out because it's God's timing and my boyfriend's timing and my timing. Do you still love coffee? Do you still make it at home a lot? Do you still eat at home a lot? Are you still going to the same church or did you find a new one or are you looking for a new one for some reason? How's any of that going? Anything new with that? How is your relationship with God? Did you finish reading the entire Bible or did you get distracted in Romans or something? Because I do that a lot. Have you made any new friends and how did you make them? How many times have you gone home this year? Anything new that you bought that you're excited to talk about? Anything new that just like really describes you you haven't talked about much? Any new piercings or tattoos? I really hope we got some of the tattoos that we wanted. How's the job going? Have you gotten any more like promotions or anything good or do you still work there? Like we love this job so just update us how it's been going. You'll have worked there for over a year by the time you make this video again. So update us. Do you have a favorite show? or anything like that. What's your favorite song? Do you still mostly just listen to Christian music? Can you still see your UV tattoos? Do you feel old being 22? Cause right now I'm 21. I feel like a baby, uh, mostly cause I'm like kind of the youngest in like everything I do. But I feel like 22 just sounds a lot older. Cause 21 is like the last big birthday. So turning 22, I'm like, oh, am I old? That was a really dramatic response to that. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Once again, thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. I love the jewelry so much, so don't forget to go click the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think these are so fun to make. I'm literally so hyped to make mine again next year. I'm so glad I chose fall as the time to make them because fall is my favorite time of the year and I'm just so like giddy and happy right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and wanna see my video next year, then you're gonna have to hit subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and comment down any questions you want me to answer in the next one and i will also try to answer those i love you guys see you in the next one bye